Welcome back. Snow and basketball normally don't have much in common since the sport happens indoors, but this past week it wreaked havoc as local high school 3A and 4A high school basketball playoffs were postponed five, yes, five times. It has been a week, folks. We're going to start in the 4A. The G Prep boys hosting University in the District 8 semis. G Prep beat them in both meetings this season by 14 and 30 points. The second quarter of this one was all about defense, specifically U High's Lane Kennedy putting on a block party. But on the other end of the floor, G Prep decided it was time to start charging people to get in. You see what I did there. It wasn't great, but I had to do it. Anyways, Gonzaga prep just was too much for the Titans in the end. They were scoring all over the place. The Bullpups run away with this one, 64-39. Ferris boys down at Richland, the Mid-Columbia Conference number one seed. Opening quarter, McCoy Spink in the lane. Nice little floater. Ferris down by a point. We head to the second now. Reese Van Lyrop goes baseline. This is a tough shot, kind of behind the basket there. Saxons down 22 to 15. A few possessions later, Kellen Erickson waits, then blows by, lays it home, down double digits, and it wouldn't get any better. No overtime this year. Richland rolls 100 to 61. The CV girls hosting University in the District 8 girls semis. These two teams had some pretty close games this year, with one of the Bears wins being by nine and another by three. University was on a tear early, building a nine point lead in the first half, but the Bears responded specifically Cameron Scape. She was nailing triples and CV had this game tied by halftime. Then the Bears started the third with an 18 to 2 run. Scape was at it again. She had eight three pointers tonight, which broke a school record for most in the game. CV wins 65 46 to the other 4A District 8 girls semi. Or excuse me, 3A District 8 girls semi, Chiawana, Lewis and Clark. First quarter, Andy Zylak sinks a three-point shot at the top of the key, 14-9 LC. The bench is amped to the second. Caitlin Peters drills a three ball from the outside quarter, 19-13 LC now. Second quarter, Zylak again. She's going to lay this one in. We're going to just let her go to work. 23-16 now. Lewis and Clark final. Lewis and Clark wins 56-25. Them and CV will meet up in an all-GSL final tomorrow at 6. Moving to the 3A semis. Mount Spokane boys hosting Shadle Park. And the night belonged to the Wildcats. JT Smith going backdoor for the layup as he poured in a game-high 27 points. Shadle played a solid first half to stay in it. Nian Allen also sneaking in the back door. He elevates for the dunk and the Highlanders trailed by just six points at the break. Third quarter Wildcats start getting to the rim regularly. Tanner Brooks works in the lane, gets checked, but stays with it. He chipped in 13 points. The Wildcats pull away for a 73-55 win. Nice little doubleheader at Mount Spokane tonight with the ladies hosting Kennewick. Lions get on the board first for their only lead of the ball game. Milani McBee well, well behind the line for that one. A quick 3-0 lead, but right away Wildcats with an answer. Avery Adams lines one up and buries it. Mount Spokane was on the board and then they take the lead for good. Emily Nelson running the floor. She's going to get rewarded with the easy lay in. The Wildcats put five in double figures and take it 69-49. Wrapping up our 3A coverage, North Central girls at Kamaikin. First quarter in transition. transition. Audrea Blocker drives the wing. Easy bucket cuts the lead to six. That's though as close as they would come. Alexa Hazel open, knocks down the three. Lead is back to double digits. Second quarter, Kamaikin goes down low. Simone Brown finishes in the lane. The Tribe managed just two points in the second. They could never recover. 65-37 the final. Two teams in loser out games tonight. The Gonzaga Prep girls season ends while Central Valley gets a huge victory down at Hanford. CV will play tomorrow at the arena at 10-30. Post Falls hosting Lake City in the Idaho District playoffs. The Trojans held a double digit lead for most of the game and they did it in multiple ways. Ball movement leads to an easy hoop for Josiah Shields. They brought it on defense. Terrell Mitchell gets a block and then stares down his defender. I love it. Did it with authority. Colby Gannett steals, the, gets the steal. There's takeoff and the slam. Trojans win 49-35. CDA high also won tonight, 80-69 to over Lewiston. Finally, we head inside the huddle this evening as teams edge closer to state. Hey, we run power to Anton. We go double away. <clears throat> They're running a three-quarter Anton. Anton, don't die. Birdie, Liam, come right off here and go from the top. 
this is our fault. We are not playing physical. We're playing handsy. It's not what we do. Down here, we gotta execute our stuff. Offensively, keep up that movement. Here we go. There's. Here we go. We gotta do a better job of making sure they can't break through easily. So maybe we are a little bit too tight. Maybe we need to back up just, just this distance here and just work up. Don't worry about reaching in and stuff. The jumps will work, right? So we've gotta see opportunities to jump. It's going to be a fun day tomorrow at the arena with all the 4A and 3A championships. That's it for sports. We'll be right back.